So today you had your science board paper and I hope it went pretty well for all of you. Let us do a quick analysis of the paper as to what kind of paper we had today. As expected, there were 36 questions and those who have studied the NCRT thoroughly along with the previous papers have done, should have done very good in this paper. So let us just open this paper. The paper which I have today is set one Delhi region. The very first page of the paper might have brought smiles to all of your faces because we have got three questions, one mark each. The question one talks about homologous series. The next question is about a mode of asexual reproduction and the third one is ecosystem. Very straightforward three questions, very straightforward three answers and three marks in our pocket. Now the next question is uh, asking us to find out the characteristic of image formed by convex mirror and the object distance we are given, the focal length we are given, but we need not to use the mirror formula over here because we straight away know that images formed by convex uh, mirrors are always erect, small in size, virtual and formed behind the mirror. Two marks again in our pocket. Okay. The next two questions are on uh, sustainable management and another one is asking us, uh, another one is about management of forest and wildlife resources. Very two uh, easy questions directly from NCRT and four marks again goes to us. Okay, the seventh question is slightly tricky, two compounds are given, butene and pentane, C4H8 and C5H12. And we need to justify with reason that which of these two compounds will show addition reaction. So we know that addition reactions are shown by those compounds wherein unsaturation is present. That means there need to be a double or a triple bond present over there in order to show addition reaction. So it is butene and not pentane that will uh, give the addition reaction. And you need to write one addition reaction as well in order to get three marks, three complete marks. So you can write down uh, addition of hydrogen through nickel catalyst or addition of halogen. So three marks, all yours. Next question, question number eight is as per our prediction. Remember, uh, we focused on page number 72 to 74 and three questions, three equations in fact, directly from those three pages. So three marks, all ours. Okay, now uh, the next question, question number 9 uh, talks about the modern periodic table. We need to name the vertical and the vertical uh, columns and the horizontal rows and in uh, along with that we need to find out the trends of metallic character and atomic radius. So we know what to write and that is going to fetch us three more marks. The next question talks about two elements, element P and Q. P is having atomic number 20, Q is having atomic number 17. We need to find out the address of the element. Remember Bohr and Burry rule we talked. So with Bohr and Burry rule, you will be able to say that element P is calcium and element Q is chlorine. You can find out the address by considering the number of shells and the valence electrons and then you need to you need to make one compound from these two elements CaCl2 will be the answer. Okay, question number 11, question number 12 and question number 13 from the chapter reproduction. Straightforward planaria we know it is regeneration bryophyllum vegetative propagation and when sporangia burst what will happen spores will come out and if they get a favorable condition uh, they start growing and produce a new organism so 3 plus 3 plus 3 9 marks great next is the difference between acquired trait and inherited trait 3 marks so you need to write 2 points along with one example okay so I, I'm sure you have written this and now three more marks for homologous organs, analogous organs and fossils. Just examples only would give you three more marks. Question number 16 is slightly tricky, but if you write down the correct mirror formula along with the correct sign convention, then three marks is all yours. The next question is asking us to explain a defect of vision and how to correct it. This defect is presbyopia and we know its correction is done by bifocal lenses. 
okay the next question is a value based question question number 18 is a value based question and this question should have fetched you full marks if you have written down your values your ethics as an individual towards the betterment of the environment and the sustenance of mankind next question number 19 from soaps and detergent examiner's all time favorite question number 20 on the chapter reproduction and is related to human male and female reproductive organs five mark a question and if there are three parts and if you have done all these three parts correctly five marks is all yours The next question, question number twenty-one, is about Mendel's experiment. And if you have put all the information correctly, along with the figure nine point five of page number one forty-five of your NCERT book, five marks is all yours. Okay. Question number twenty-two is one of the most uh, I can I would not say difficult, but a tricky one. If you consider the entire paper, because they have said we need not to do the calculation and we need to write down the correct answer so we can also do it if we have uh, studied all the cases in table 10.4 of of our ncert book so five marks we can manage over here as well this is an application based question question number 23 is again from the chapter light so remembering ray diagrams correctly drawing them along with the correct magnification formula so fetch you 5 marks the next question will give you 5 easy marks if you have correctly drawn all the angles in the prism and made the correct label diagram of rainbow so we are done with section a now is the time to do the analysis of section b Question number twenty-five. We have got four test tubes A, B, C, and D containing sodium carbonate, sodium chloride, lime water, blue litmus solution, and we need to uh, answer that out of these material, which one will be suitable for correct test of ethanoic acid? This question has become slightly controversial because sodium carbonate, lime water, and blue litmus, all three of them show visible test with ethanoic acid. but as far as the choices are given to us we need to, uh, to write over here i mean we you must have written that solution a and solution d will show uh, the correct test for acetic acid next is question number 26 and 27 are from soaps and detergent are on the average scale or average difficulty scale uh, question number 28 pretty straight forward parts of dicot seed very easy followed by a question on homologous organs again examples only so easy one question number 30 is from the chapter light and is doable question number 31 is a bit tricky the question has been presented in such a manner this is the correct answer for that uh, the catch is a person who knows that real images are always inverted and the image is focused on the screen and thus this image is real will get one mark question number 32 is very easy the correct labeling is this and question the next question is on refraction through a glass prism easy one the last three questions are subjective questions two mark each straight forward questions one is on ethanoic acid another one is again uh, on asexual reproduction and the third one is on light so overall there were certain questions which were tricky but the paper was a good one balanced one and i'm sure you all have done very well all the best for remaining exams and for your results thank you